Mm. Ethan died later that day. Mm-hmm. It's been a long See, this is all just one of those last-minute hallucinations before you die. I, I thought I killed you. I represent all your demons, Ethan. Alcohol was just one of them. You've got a meth problem, what you've got now? a gambling problem, Acceptance. you got a thing about oh, ch children we really gotta take care of. <laughs> yeah, you kinda called this on Mission 9, where after we killed the alcohol demon, you're like, well, it's a good thing that was the biggest thing on top of the pile of the rest of my problems. So we're never gonna get rid of the, rid of this hallucination because he is just real. there for everything. I'm not real. We're gonna kill the demon of being in condemned too. Eventually, actually, after this mission, we will. We'll be free from condemned too. The voice, the remedy, the one. That's what's real. Enough. I don't want to hear it. It's what you are. It's what the Oro fears most. Many have died to protect you, Ethan. Including your parents. My parents? No. No! I thought they were dead. Acceptance they are, Ethan. No! No! Yeah, there's the uh, the big old twist with the Oro and everything. We are the chosen one, in a manner of speaking. Whoa. I know drunk foo. Yeah. We are the Neo. We are the... The Dest... We are basically every protagonist that has been destined. Because we have some great vocal range. <laughs> so the final boss is Mariah Carey? <laughs> we need to take down Mariah. We will make the best Christmas singles. A karaoke sing-off. <laughs> All right. So for the rest of the game, we have our voice attack. It is infinite use. It does have a little it's, bit of cooldown. It's that face. Yep. So, ah! here, so here's how you use it. You have to click both the left and right triggers <laughs> rapidly. Now, these are also your fists. So what you're going to be seeing a lot in this video is me punching the air, and then all of a sudden, you'll see this. So we need to break out of here. We got police all all right behind us. So punch one. <laughs> uh, yep, that did it. <laughs> that did it. Do we use our voice to break out of the hyperbolic time chamber and go after Grunt and Boo? <laughs> I mean, by the end of this, we probably will. We we can basically do anything now. All right, how is this ridiculous mess going to end? This ridiculous mess is going to end in a very interesting way. So, uh, this level in particular, I kind of like it. It's got a side mission, which is pretty, you know... It's fine. It's fun, whatever. Uh, the one thing I don't like is they really want you to use guns in this level, and that kind of defeats the purpose. That's like using guns in Dead Rising. You don't. You shouldn't have to do it. But uh, the majority of your foes in this level are also packing guns, so that's why they want you to use them. Uh, at least we're getting the enemies using guns at the end and not halfway through the game like the first one, where it gets really fucking annoying. That's true. So if we, if we got to do the guns, the gunplay, let it be now. And I guess they're going for, like, a semi-explosive finale, which is like, just give him all the guns. Machine guns, pistols, give him everything. And give him the thum as well. <laughs> give, him the, give him the ability to yell people's heads off along with the guns. Now it makes me want to play Skyrim and uh, make a new character as, as uh, Ethan, whoever this guy is. Ethan Thomas, yep. I just thought of another Ethan in video games. There's like three Ethans that are on my mind at all times. Ethan Carter. The vanishing of Ethan Carter. Holy shit. So that's four Ethans. That's four Ethans. Good lord. Do we, do we got enough? I don't know. Anyway, this is the peninsula. If you want to know where to go, you can always look at the ground and figure out where you need to go. Because your optional mission actually has to do with these. Hmm. So here's the Oro devices. Jiggle the joystick at all points when it's red, and then eventually the red will move to a different part, and you gotta move it over there. So all that antenna training we got for the entire game, it's all coming to fruition here. Tune that thing! It's all coming together! Yes! All your collectibles, everything you've been doing up to this point, it helps you break stuff. Ah. Uh. Closure. Oh, it's, it's all—it's all there. It's all just—just just there. 
Hawks. Also, on a positive note, this will be where we'll be picking up the last of the collectibles for everything. It'll all be done. Oh, well, there they go. We better be seeing that trophy pop, or achievement. Don't worry, you will. Because I knew that there was a problem in the first game where it was like a half and half chance of, a, uh, of an achievement not popping. Yeah, that was fixed. Uh, again, Condemned 2 is a lot better. <laughs> It's, it actually works. So I'm having fun. A lot more fun than I had in the first game. Oh, and I love this. They're actually mentioning that uh, a lot of trash gets dropped off at the peninsula, and the fact that there's a lot of people on the peninsula right now. Yeah, they even notice that the Oro is basically set up here on the peninsula. How did they not notice structures this high on a peninsula? It's just part of City City. They don't tear down their buildings, and they don't clean up their trash, either. Apparently. Like, if I saw that... Because we didn't go very far in the boat. At least it didn't look like it. So, it can be seen from the city. Hmm. Well, whatever. Anyway. Bam! That's all the antennas. <laughs> Tune in Tokyo. That's a good feeling. That's one collectible out of three down. And, uh, oh, hey, look. Another one is j Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you're also going to have to deal with these guys. Along with gunned soldiers, you also have to deal with crawly dudes, and they are obnoxious in this one. They just never stop coming. At the very least, one bullet seems to stop them pretty well. It's nice. Uh, just imagine the, you know, the mud men we've been dealing with throughout this entire game? Mm. I think they have the same hit points as those guys, so, yeah, just look at them funny and they die. But the fact that they can come up there and hit you multiple times, that's oh. the annoying part. Oh, excuse me. That was a very disgruntled whatever it was. So, I may have lost something. Who are these soldiers again? These are Dorland's men who turned against the police force in City City. Okay, so this isn't like a Ethan Mars has gone rogue. Kill him. No, no, Ethan no, no, no. Ethan is... Thomas. Fuck. <laughs> it's never gonna stop. You're always gonna get the wrong Ethan. I'm never gonna get Ethan Winter's name wrong. I mean, shit, Ethan Thomas. That's just like the entirety of Dead Rising Two. You kept calling Chuck Frank. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Smooth move, x -lax. You Jeff, you did dope. not think that through. <laughs> it's a good thing he uh, he hired idiots to, like, form his army. This is going to be easy. Well, you have to be an idiot to listen to Dorbin and go, Okay, I want you to turn against the police. Duh, right, boss. I got it. You, Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Yes. Ooh. All right. Now, the entire time I'm trying to find these Oro sound generators and whatever, they're not hard to miss, but believe it or not, there is one that you can just skip right by, and it's actually this one. If you're not following the pathways on the ground, it's you just walk right by it. It happens. Oh, there it is. At least it makes a noise. It makes a really loud noise. I actually turned the volume down just so I can hear us talking over this. It can be really loud. Oh, it's just like how they work in the game. They, 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 they made a frequency that drives you crazy. Ooh, subversion of the medium. Speaking of that frequency, uh, there are some enemies later that use that frequency, and they're as obnoxious as the, you know, regular frequency. So huh. good. Yay. At least we're compiling all this obnoxiousness in the last mission. Exactly. They saved the best for last. At least I can yell about it. <laughs> what was that? I couldn't hear you over the high frequency. What? what? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if anything, all these weapon lockers all over this facility makes it easy to not run out of ammo. So when you're running and gunning, that's the worst feeling here in Condemned 2 is when they force you to use a gun and you run out of ammo. 
Whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm getting good at this. Jesus. And so are they. Stop dodging my bullets. There we go. Get, they're getting more coordinated. Oh, well. All right. And the bar's just falling apart. Yep, the entire place is falling apart, so... Uh, now we need to find our way around here. And this is kind of a set-piece moment, because you just landed in a... Almost... You landed in a giant boat, okay? Yeah. Giant boat with a few holes in it. And uh, we need to find a way to move it out of the way, basically. So first off, drop down here. Uh oh. <laughs> I had a feeling that thing that thing was gonna drop on you as soon as you went down there. It's just like I do not want to. No way. Yeah. So so you hear that noise, and all of a sudden you're going, well, that's not a good sound. But it hasn't fallen yet, so I think we'll we'll be good. But the last uh, radar is in here. You can't go under here, unfortunately, because invisible walls. Because they want you to do something specific. They want you to run around the boat so you can see something happen. And there it goes. Oh, okay. We did well, it. Well, fine. Okay. Oh, Jesus. There are so oh, many no, of them. No. There are so oh, many of them. There are oh, so dear. Oh, I ran out you of ammo, out of course. Of <laughs> oh! Ooh. What? <laughs> So, uh, this cool. entire time, you were actually having, uh, your, uh, special skills meters, uh, refilled. And this is new. Ooh. Crunch. So that took all three of our little skill meters there to do that one, but it is a very good finishing move. Do you need a skill meter to do your shout? Uh, actually, something kind of cool that I found out. Using your shout refills your skill meter. Ooh. It's just the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, the shout does have some cooldown, as I mentioned, but not as long as what you might think. <clears throat> Got it. Yes! Can you hear me now? Oh! That a... <laughs> Thought I might have a song. Uh, on the rooftop, shout it out, baby, I'm ready to go, <laughs> all right, I'm ready to go, on the rooftop, shout it out. And that's oh, when your head explodes. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good! <laughs> it's actually a really good song. It is a good song, I like that one. That's two out of the three collectibles 100%ed. The last ones we're going to be dealing with are the responses and the optional mission, which is destroy all the Oro stuff. So, uh, out of... kind of out of nowhere, we got a mini-boss fight. Ah! Oh, not anymore. <laughs> I really wish we could do that, but now we got to take it down the old-fashioned way, because it is no man, mind you. It's a woman? It is machine. Oh. The machine can't hear us. A helichopper. According to this game, the final boss is on that helicopter. So let's shoot the fucker down. That sounds incredibly logical. All right, so let's do it. Oh, well, that didn't work. <laughs> if anything, that just pissed them off. <laughs> there we go. Ah! I love the fact that he, on his backswing, he killed his friend. <laughs> that's probably the best part of this whole thing. Plenty of guns, though, so that's, mm -hmm. that's very good. Plenty of guns. He's right there. He's actually hovering above you. Very stupidly, I must add, because they give you plenty of ammo to deal with this. And you're almost perfectly protected. I say almost because he can still hit you. Well, yeah. Oh, there it was. I also like the fact that they have all these weapons and all these guns and all this ammo in case you didn't get the shout power up. Exactly. Well, um, for this gold ranking for uh, Mission 10, you get the shout, but it's not as powerful. Like, uh, I okay. think our gold ranking makes it so that heads do explode when we shout at people. So if we don't get a gold rank, it's, it's more like a... Aah. It's more like, ah, and they move like a couple feet. 
<laughs> it's like, oh, wind picked up. <laughs> but with gold rank, you're you're blowing heads up. It's awesome. I found all the things! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea that Ethan almost doesn't know he can do that, so it's more of a shout of surprise. It's like, hey, there he is! Ah! <laughs> heads explode. <laughs> Stubs his toe. Ow! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Knocks down a wall of a building. It's like, oh god, I'm so sorry. And I want to know what happens when he has sex. Yeesh. He's just very. They duct tape his mouth shut. <laughs> there, there's just no way. Ball gag. <laughs> <laughs> And then the ball gag just pops. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, another one bit the dust? Alright, get the other one. Uh, be careful in this part of the boss fight. I had no idea my first time playing through this that another guy spawned up here. I was getting hit from essentially nothing when I couldn't see that guy. And I just died. He doesn't see me, I have a chance! And... Down goes Whoop. this helicopter. Boom! Landed pretty cleanly, I'd say. Mm -hmm. All things considered. Oh, there he goes. We might have to get him. Oh, wait. Oh, oh well. <laughs> I was going to explain that new enemy. Thanks, me. We have uh, new enemies that we have to take care of. Those uh, faceless guys. We actually saw one of these at the end of Chapter 1, where they were just in a cutscene, but now we actually have to fight them and kill them. They're so terrifying. And they're so hard to kill. They have a giant gaping hole for a mouth, and they... Th probably the most terrifying part is they actually have the sonic emitter in their face. Oh, I see. Yeah, so now you actually have to either shoot them or, you know, fight fire with fire. So they're throwing all these set pieces, throwing all these new gameplay mechanics on top of two very short missions that we just had. So you know what that tells me? Mm. Budget cuts! Probably. Had to cut a few corners. Cut a few corners, yeah, but I gotta say, still pretty okay. No, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This part, however, can go suck a big fat one. I didn't have a lot of health after that, and now they're gonna have a bunch of crawly dudes coming after you. Oh, great. In the dark. Oh, even better. Yeah, and these are the guys that uh, Serial Killer X kind of fabricated himself, so they take a lot of hits when you don't have a gun. It's it's not a fun time. What's kind of cool is there is actually a hidden attack that you can do on these guys. I've seen it pop up a couple times while because I had to do this a few times. You can actually like grapple them as they're coming back up and basically throw them back off. <laughs> no, get off. But. The problem is they come up so fast that you barely get a chance to do it. Like, that prompt came up for, like, half a second, and then it was gone. Jeez, they're everywhere. Uh, I can't fuck! I can't scream! <laughs> yeah, the problem there was when you're clicking the triggers, you have to continuously do it until Ethan yells. You can't, like, stop clicking and then go in for a punch. You actually have to wait till he's done in order to actually go back to punching again. Honestly, that part right there, that's the hardest part of the level. The rest of it is just smooth sailing, in my opinion. Next time on Condemned 2, the end of the game. Wow. That episode was a scream. <laughs>